Hi everyone, so today we're filming the install of a heart start kit. It's called the 521 compressor saver. Um, the purpose of this video is to record the lock rotor amps before and after the hard start kit install and the purpose behind all of this is to get my generator to start this three ton air conditioning unit. Um, it probably could do it right now with a high lock rotor amp but I'm trying to reduce that high lock rotor amp start up. So we'll see if we can accomplish this. So uh, the first step here is I got my Fluke 336 hooked up to the uh, 220 line and what I'm going to do next is force the air conditioner to come on. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to have to actually shut the video off and turn on my app to turn the thermostat on. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so I turned the thermostat on and you can see that it recorded 77.2 in rush. Now, I'm just going to turn that off and see what amperage it normally uses. So you can see right there, after the inrush, I'm using about 11 amps. Okay, I'm going to turn the compressor back off and disconnect the um, emergency switch and I'm going to begin the installation. So I'm going to cut back off and I'll come back in. Okay. I had to pick this back up. My uh, iPhone ran out of storage space, so um, I decided to film this with continue filming with my Surface uh, Pro. So anyway, I did go ahead and get the um, start capacitor. I'm sorry, the uh, 521 kit uh, connected up, and if you can see right there, there's the uh, there's the relay. I uh, put the capacitor over here. You can see over there and basically um, wired it up according to the instructions. So the black goes to the contactor, um, the red goes to the uh, common uh, on the uh, existing capacitor, and the yellow goes to the Herm on the uh, existing capacitor. So hopefully I have it installed right and we're gonna give it another go here. So I have the uh, meter reset and what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, go back into the app. Let me just log in here. Okay. Okay, I don't, I don't know how well you can see this, but right now the thermostat says 77. So I'm going to try to get all this in one screen. We're just going to go ahead and turn it down. Okay, so you can see that that capacitor reduced it, I think it was 77, I'll have to look at the other video, and it reduced it down to 59, I'm um, sorry, 53.9, uh, so definitely helped it, uh, and then later on uh, we'll sit down and I'll do some calculations to show you uh, how big of an effect that had and how that will affect my... Uh, generator. So what we're going to do is just uh, set that back. So you can see that it's still using the same amperage without it. And so I guess I saved about uh, 25 amps by installing that. Uh, I don't want to say save 25 amps. Let's just say it cut this inrush amps by 25 amps by installing the kit. So I want to just show you a quick picture here of the specs of this particular particular air conditioner so you can see that the spec on the sheet is 82 lock rotor amps and 16.1 running uh, amps so I was a little under before I think it, like I said I think it was 77 we'll have to go back to the video and look and now I'm at 53 so uh, that's it for now. Okay, now I wanted to show you uh, 
how all these numbers work when trying to size a generator to an air conditioner. Now, my unit is a three ton AC unit. So, 77.2 times 240 volts. This was the locked rotor amperage. That gives us 18,528 watts. Now, after the hard start kit, it reduced the lock rotor amps to 53.9. Now we want to times that by 240 volts. That gives us 12,936 watts. Now the running watts is what is used once the air conditioner initially starts up and starts uh, working. So that was 11.2 amps and if you times that by 240 volts that gives us 200 i'm sorry 2688 watts okay now here's where the confusion comes in so if you're out in the marketplace and you're looking and you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon or whatever, and you see a 4,000 watt generator. You think, okay, great. I might be able to run my air conditioner with that because I'm buying 4,000 watts and I only need, you know, 2,688 watts to run this. The problem is, is on startup. That's where it requires a tremendous amount of amps to get that those motors uh, spinning. And if you buy a 4,000 watt generator, you need to look at the surge watts. And a lot of these Chinese generators do not surge much above their running watts. So you might see a 4,000 watt generator, 6,000 surge watts. Well, that still doesn't do you any good because you need to get to that number right there. Now notice when I started out, this air conditioner required 18,528 watts to get those motor uh, started, the compressor motor started. When I put the hard start kit in, I reduced that to 12,936. So I greatly reduced my uh, surge wattage. Uh, so Technically, it requires less of a generator. Uh, I'm going to let you all in on a little secret here. Uh, if you're in the marketplace and you're trying to start your air conditioner and you want it to start successfully, you're either going to have to buy a very large Chinese generator, you know, somewhere in the uh, neighborhood of the, you know, uh, maybe something like a 12,000 watt, and you want to check, and maybe that will. Uh, surge to 15,000 watts, okay, which will probably get you uh, uh, in the neighborhood of what you need to start your air conditioner. But a little known secret, there are some older generators out there. Uh, Onan, if I could spell, that would help. Um, Onan is the one I would recommend. And there are some older Kohlers out there. Now you want to try to find something from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, that's what you want to find. Now these motors uh, are known for their surge capacity. Sorry, these generators, these Onan generators. Now uh, I'm going to give you a model number of one that would work, but you would be pushing it, uh, and that's uh, an Onan 5CCK. So that stands for 5,000 
running watts. Now, these generators were so well designed that they, a lot of them often have a 2.5 to 3 times surge rating. So as an example, if we just took round numbers uh, of 5,000 times 3, we would have a 15,000 surge. Uh, in reality, it's probably slightly less for that particular model. Um, even if we uh, took a 2.5 uh, instead of a 3 factor, so if we had 5,000 and we times that by 2.5, we would get 12,500. Now, notice that gets us a lot closer to the starting requirements for this air conditioner. And you'd be pushing your luck on a three-ton AC with this model. However, uh, they do make other models such as a 7.5 JB, which will, you know, has a, literally almost a three-time surge rating. So, you know, it's going to put you in the neighborhoods somewhere, you know, over 20,000 surge watts. So if you're trying to size up a 3-ton air conditioner, uh, there's a lot of factors you have to look at. Uh, you need to look at your nameplate, uh, and you saw on mine, of what your locked rotor amperage is. That's the requirement that the manufacturer puts on there that says, hey, we're state condition. Uh, and then you times that by your voltage. So usually it's 240 for an air conditioner in the United States. And then that will give you your surge watts. That's the wattage required uh, that you need to start. So when you're looking for a generator, you need to concern yourself with the not so much, you know, you're always going to see two numbers. Uh, one is your running watts and one is your either surge or starting watts. And that's the number you need to really look at uh, when you're starting things. And the reason I said, um, you know, this particular one right here, would work is it probably would start that but you have to factor in other uh, requirements of your house that may be running at that time as well such as a refrigerator uh, you know lights fans other electrical requirements uh, and if any of those two can't happen to come on at the same time or, or needed to start at the same time it wouldn't work because you're maxing it out just with this one appliance so you always want to leave yourself a little bit of a reserve and that's why I suggested, you know, something like an Onan 7.5 JB, which would give you that extra headroom to start up a refrigerator, uh, you know, at the same time that an air conditioner may start up. You could also utilize load management and only start one thing at a time. And remember, once it's running, uh, the wattage is a lot less. So if you look, I only need 2,688 watts once that thing started and running. So if you had a 5,000 watt generator, you would technically have some, you know, 5,000 watts minus the 2,688. So you would have yourself some headroom. Uh, but the big issue is when these loads that require, you know, that have a motor that require a, a large amount of starting uh, amperage, you want to have yourself some uh, overhead. And so um, if you look at what I spec'd out here and the hard star kit, uh, even without a hard star kit, I would have most likely been able to start that with this 7.5 JB. Uh, but now that I got that kit in, I reduced that a lot to 12,936. So I feel very comfortable that a 7.5 uh, will you know, work in this environment. Okay, thank you.